Hey everyone, it's Kelsey A.K. Real with Mrs. B, and we are a quarter of the way through August, so I want to check in with you guys to show you how our August budget is going, since it's kind of a tight month, <laughs> to say the least. So, I have been tracking all of our transactions on the Every Dollar app, just because it's a lot easier for me to keep track of them, so I'm going to go ahead and go through all of them this month and there's quite a few of them. I did a lot of spending when I was out of town um, but I'll get to that. Alright so I talked about in my end of the month for July that um, I didn't spend any for school supplies so I rolled over that money and kept it into our checking account and what I did here is just put it as $75 of other income and it's just rollover from July and then I added that $75 to the $75 that I had planned for August to make the school supplies $150 because if you don't know I'm a teacher and I need it's my classroom like a new classroom just for me <laughs> and um, I need stuff for my classroom so that's what that's for uh, when I was out of town John got some drinks uh, we paid our rent it's a hundred dollars less this month because if you signed your lease within like 60 days um, or re-signed it then they gave you a hundred bucks off of uh, your second month's rent so we got that and then this is where I got a bunch of stuff for my classroom. When I was out of town, I was actually, oh wow, <laughs> the cat is playing with the thing. <laughs> okay, when I was out of town, um, it was a work trip in which I was basically getting trained for AP Psychology, uh, which I taught last year, but I'm teaching it again this year, and it was super beneficial. Well, when I was there, I got a lot of great tips of things to buy for the classroom. Um, so... One thing I got were perception goggles. I don't know if you've ever seen like drunk goggles or things like that, but there's ones that will flip the image upside down or will shift your image like a foot over. And I got those um, from a retired psychology teacher in my area. And um, those were $15 and it came with a lot of other free activities that he sent with, um, but it's for a certain unit that I'll do in psychology. And then from Amazon, let's see, um, I got, I don't know which transaction is what transaction, but one of them is like a test bank book um, that has like 500 questions you would need to know for like the AP psych exam. Um, I got a book about the human brain that I actually plan to take apart the binding and use it for posters around my room. Uh, so if you have any tips about taking apart a hardcover binder, binding, um, I would love to hear them, so I'm going to do my best with that. And then um, I got a couple other books, too, that are beneficial for my classroom. And then I went to all posters, and I got a whole bunch of posters from there. Um, and then Netflix was taken out. I got gas. This is the gas that I got right before I left, um, just to fill up my gas tanks. So I wouldn't have to fill it up on the way since I was going through the Chicago area and it's a lot more expensive and a pain in the butt. Um, I did need new makeup. Um, I usually get it off of Amazon because it's cheaper than getting it directly from Bare Minerals, but they were having a 50% off sale and uh, free shipping. So I stocked up on all the things I would need. Uh, like I got my foundation, I got the under the eye stuff because I've been struggling with that lately. <laughs> and um, mineral veil and stuff. So I used up the $30 I had planned for beauty and clothing this month, plus the $5 I knew we had in our sinking fund, and then the rest of it I just put as my personal money. All right, um, and then these are like those books I was talking about. When I got back, uh, there was one night I just ate at home and John got wing stop, he got like 15 wings for that because we had a coupon to get like five wings wings free uh, We went grocery shopping and pick and save and then you'll see Aldi in a second if you haven't checked out that video Go check out that we spent about $64 for this week, which is pretty nice because It was our first grocery haul and that will bring us to like halfway through the month and then we We should be pretty good. We have $200 this month, and I think we'll be good. Um, my mom's gift, so I bought her some, I don't, she doesn't watch my videos, but I bought her, or my sister and I bought her a Fitbit. 
Um, and I will be getting back half the money from my sister. She's coming in town this weekend actually to celebrate my mom's and I's eyes <laughs> our birthday because we share a birthday it's August 16th so um, I will get half the money back for that but I just put it under gift money for now and then this is me getting gas once I got back from my trip and then we had friends over so we got um, a thing of drinks for that car insurance came out on the 4th PSP is Pet Supplies Plus. I ended up getting um, more cat food for them, which we get from. It's a little more expensive, but I had a $5 off coupon, so came out to $36.95, and then that's the Aldi. And then um, my 27th birthday is August 16th, and I needed to renew my license, so I had to go to the DMV today to do that, and that was $34, and then they tacked down a $0.58 cent charge for paying with the debit card or something I don't know anyway that was a that was a pain in the butt too because I sat there for an hour and then for them to tell me I needed my marriage certificate I had my form filled out I had my birth certificate my social security card my ID all of which besides my birth certificate um, have my current married name on it but they needed my marriage license and nowhere did it say that so I had to go home and then come back later. That was really frustrating. I was very angry today. But anyway, it's done with. It'll be in the mail in 10 days. So uh, neither of us have been paid yet for August. Uh, so we've been, I know that might sound confusing to some people, but like we do have a couple hundred dollars in our checking account that's there. And um, we still have enough money like, I don't start paying a bunch of bills that are due later in the month right now because we haven't been paid yet. So we're fine. Um, I will be paid on Thursday. John will be paid on Friday. So we are good. All right. And then I will be paid by YouTube later on. The $75 is the rollover. And um, let's see. The only really bill we paid was rent. And like I said, I'll wait until after we get paid to pay these guys. Laundry, I'm just going to use my dog walking money for. We're good on gas so far. And car insurance came out. That was the other bill, I guess. Um, and we're great on groceries, good on restaurants so far. We just have like the one John eating those wings the one night. Because uh, I'm kind of saving it for our birthday and uh, anniversary. And we're pretty good on drinks, too. We're over half left, so, so that's good. Um, so it's looking pretty good. And then this negative 5 right here is just um, because of the $5 we still had left in our fund. And then I haven't moved over anything else because uh, I do that at the end of the month to see how much we, we use during the month. So I don't have to like transfer it to the savings account and transfer it back. That gets confusing. And then yes, we're over and gift money because I will be getting money back from my sister. So she'll probably write me a check or something and I'll put it in and just put it under gift money. So, and then I only have $32 left of school supplies. That I really need to keep in check because there's like so much I want for my classroom and so many supplies that I want to get. Uh, so I'm going to have to reel it in. I use my dog walking money, my the rest of my personal money, which I don't have a, a lot, but maybe I'll get birthday money. I don't know, but I'll just have to keep that in check. So it's going pretty well for being on a tighter budget this month. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, and I have the next like two weeks off to prepare for my, for the school year and all. And then I start um, going in to work for meetings and stuff, so it's going to get busy at the end of the month. So I hope your August is going great. Let me know how it is, and I will catch you guys very soon in my next video updating you on our sinking funds and debt snowball. So I'll see you soon. Bye!